Hi, I'm Phil and welcome back to my channel. Now as you can see today, I'm at the Triumph Visitor Centre in Hinkley. Now I'm not here just to look at the bikes, but today is a really special day for a massive bike meet. Motor Advisor are attempting a new world record and that's for the largest female biker meet, which is being hosted by Triumph. Now, I want to introduce you to some of my friends who are actually organising the event. I'm also planning to meet some of my Instagram friends who I've never met before in real life. So it's going to be a really exciting day. I'm also going to be behind the scenes, take some photographs and meet new people as well. So, really can't wait. So the sun's trying to break out and hopefully the rain will keep off and it will be an amazing day. So the concept is a simple one, to break the world record for the most female riders at a bike meet. To be counted for the record, riders have between 10am and 3pm to be included. Each rider goes through the checkpoint and they are given a number. The current record stands at 1132. Let me tell you a little bit about Motor Advisor and the events leading up to this day. Motor Advisor was set up by Nimi Patel and Sherry Wolf, who are two regular women with a passion for bikes and equality. Now I had the pleasure of meeting and working with Nimi on a Dionysi photo shoot and our friendship has grown from there. Nimi and Sherry met at the Ace Cafe in London in 2014 and instantly hit it off. It wasn't too long after meeting that Nimi had the idea to beat the existing world record of 200 which was held by the Australians. In 2015 at the Ace Cafe an amazing 618 ladies turned up and they smashed the world record. Of course, the Aussies didn't take it lying down and held another event taking back the title with 1,002 ladies. In 2017, Nimi and Sherry decided to try and beat them again but realised they needed more professional help and that's when they created Motor Advisor to attract sponsors. At Lynn's Raven Cafe in Shropshire, an amazing 1,132 ladies attended and the record was once again back in the UK. Now the pandemic stopped the event in 2020, but here we are on Sunday the 24th of July 2022 for another attempt to beat their own world record. Now I met up with Nimi and Sherry at the beginning of the year to discuss the event and I can tell you now they have both worked tirelessly for 10 months to organise the day with the help of the Bike Insurer and Triumph UK. Of course Nimi and Sherry couldn't have managed such an event by themselves and were helped and supported by some amazing friends who all gave 100% to make the day a success. One of their friends is Richard, our one child on Instagram, who is in charge of media. Now I have had the pleasure of meeting Richard before and working with him on another project and he was kind enough to allow me to use the drone and video footage he captured on the day. There are also a number of organisations and sponsors there too, including Ace Cafe, 
Motor Girl, IAM Road Smart Advanced Rider Training, Bike Safe, Blood Bikes, Women in Motorcycle Exhibition, and Mental Health Motorbikes, which is a charity I've been following on Instagram for some time. And on the day, my bike was parked alongside their stand. Well, it did colour coordinate perfectly. More about mental health motorbikes in a moment. I had a great chat with the guys and girls at BikeSafe, who if you don't know, are a national police run motorcycle safety initiative aimed at working with motorcycle riders in a relaxed environment to help us become better riders. Now, I've had the pleasure of meeting the BikeSafe London team a few times, but it was a Northamptonshire BikeSafe team who were flying the flag at this event. I noticed that Lou was wearing hideout leather protective gear. Now I actually help hideout leather with their photography and know that they supply a number of police forces up and down the country with their riding gear. It was a pleasure chatting to Lou and other members of the Bike Save team. Make sure you check out your local Bike Save team and get signed up to one of their workshops. As I said at the beginning, I had planned to meet a few Instagram friends, including Lady Harley883, also known as Michelle, who I've been getting to know on Instagram for a few years. And although we've had a couple of video chats, we had never met in real life. I was fortunate enough to spot Michelle as she was making her way to the checkpoint, along with her amazing friends who I got to know as the day went on. I must admit, there were so many faces I recognised throughout the day and after a while, all the Instagram usernames and real life names turned my brain into mush, so I do apologise to anyone who got called the wrong name. Also, there are a number of friends there who I'm sure you may recognise, especially if you are into the UK bike scene. Ruby Rides was there, along with Lily, Duke of Blonde, who I had the pleasure of photographing recently on a Triumph, of course. And Lucia Alcott and Courtney Scarlett were also there, to name just a few others. All of these ladies are a big influence to many female riders and it was really lovely to see so many people meeting them in real life for a chat. And as you know, I'm a big advocate for real life meetups. I had arranged to meet Lillian, Lily's two wheels, at the event. Now Lily was travelling from Lisbon in Portugal with her husband to attend the event via a whistle stop tour of the UK so I was keeping an eye out for her. But before Lily arrived, I met Juliana, Jew Rider on Instagram, and her sister, Liliana, who I noticed coming in while I was filming. Juliana was also visiting the UK from Portugal, and it was an absolute pleasure to meet them both and have a little chat. As you can see, Triumph had a number of bikes available for people to try out for size and have a close look at. But when there are two women who both ride, the problem is who's going to be pillion? Fortunately, they soon sorted it out without any family yeah. arguments. Okay. 
What I loved about the event was there were riders of all ages and all levels. From learners through to very experienced riders on both the road and track with every type of bike you can imagine. I met Naya and Wendy who were queuing together to buy a Motor Advisor t-shirt. Naya has been riding for about a year and a half and is currently writing a book called Top Tips for New Motorcycle Riders that your CBT didn't teach you. Now as soon as it's published I'll add a link in the description. It's not unusual these days for females to ride motorcycles but it still amazes me when strangers ask them if it's their bike or are they just pillion? Maybe it's just a line they use to start a conversation, but you should never assume, as I guarantee you will offend. Typically, just like a bus, you wait for one Instagram friend to arrive and three arrive at once. AJ, Lily and Sarah. Okay, so Sarah isn't in this shot. That's Marta, who is funnily enough from Portugal. Were there any female riders left in Portugal this weekend? Sarah had just messaged me to say she was waiting for me by my bike, so I invited AJ, Lily and Marta to come with me. As you can see, that was obviously a mistake, as they were all too excited to see my speed triple. Fortunately for me, I saw Ian from Mental Health Motorbikes nearby and asked him to tell them about the charity, hoping it would calm them down. If you haven't heard of Mental Health Motorbike, then please go and check them out, especially if you feel like you need someone to support you, as these are difficult days we live in, that's for sure. Now Sarah was keen to check out my bike for size and it was my pleasure to tell her a little bit about it. Sarah is no stranger to riding and known to 2019 900cc Triumph street scrambler called Betsy. By now the numbers were really growing and so were the queues to the Triumph Visitor Experience which I never did get time to see. To keep everyone entertained for the afternoon with live music was a group called Cancel the Transmission we kicked off with a sound check with Born to be Wild, followed by one of my favourites, Sharp Dressed Man, a ZZ Top. Later, as I was loitering around outside the motor girl stand, I heard a cheer and these crazy bikers started celebrating as only they know how. Apparently the record had been broken and there were still many more riders arriving. Then to my pleasure I heard my name called out. It was Richard 
and his wife Carol, who have a YouTube channel which I subscribe to called Bandit Man UK. Please go check it out as they make great content. I did want to ask a few people to talk to camera, but some were too shy and unfortunately my timing wasn't always great with others. You can imagine how in demand Nimi and Sherry were, especially as BBC Wales were there filming the day for an episode of Our Lives. But I did manage to go and see Lily's bike and ask her to say a few words to camera. So over to you Lily. So hello, my name is Liliana. I'm Lily's Two Wheels on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you want, please just follow me. Um, I'm very, very happy to be here today. So I came all, all along from Portugal, from Lisbon, uh, riding uh, through Spain and uh, entering the UK. And I'm very excited to be here today to participate in this major event uh, that empowers women uh, to ride their motorbikes. Uh, as you can see, I'm very short. I'm only five feet tall. And uh, this was a challenge for me, and I'm so happy uh, that I can be able to drive, to ride my own uh, Triumph Tiger 900 and uh, to be able to travel with it. So uh, my word to you is that nothing is impossible because if I can do it, so can you. Next on my list was disappearing with Michelle, Lady Harley 883, for a very quick photo shoot in the car park, which is something we were both hoping we could find time to do. Michelle has been riding for about nine years and this was the first bike meet she had ever been to and apparently was a little nervous. Now I don't know why as she is amazing with people, she has so much energy and is a really lovely, kind and genuine person. So make sure you go follow her on YouTube and Instagram. I'll add links in the description so you can find them. Just as we finished shooting, I could hear the raffle was well underway. And I'm really pleased to say that over £9,000 was raised for two charities. Blood Bikes and Midlands Air Ambulance, which is amazing. Okay, so that's the raffle done, guys. Thank you so much. By now I was completely shattered and decided to take a breather and have a proper chat over a cup of tea with Michelle's friends who she met that weekend, Zoe and Annette, who were both absolutely delightful and I look forward to meeting them again one day. After a little break they did talk me into having my photo taken with my bike outside the entrance. And thanks so much ladies for the shots and art direction. Yeah. I have to be honest and say that the atmosphere throughout that entire day was incredible. I met so many lovely people and in total a new world record was set. 1,000 549 female riders, making it the world's largest female biker meet. Subscribe, like and comment.